My name is Jokin. Welcome to our channel where we talk about all things trucking and give interesting tips and tricks for drivers just like yourself. In today's video, we'll talk about this one. 2024 Volvo VNL 760. Let's jump right into it. This video is not sponsored by Volvo, nor are they paying us to say all these things about Volvo. We just like Volvo trucks here at TRX and obviously we are trying to get the newest equipment possible so that, you know, keep our drivers happy. This is Volvo's brand new model, uh, as you can see. It has a beautiful color to it. There is not much different from the 2023 model, but they have done some improvements on the interior, which we'll take a look at uh, a little bit later. This is the base model from what you can see. It doesn't even have the chromed out uh, mirrors, uh, nor does it have any fog lights in the front. So there are certain features, uh, features that uh, Volvo puts on all of their trucks. And there is also optional features that we will talk about a little bit later. And as a matter of fact, I don't really know why Volvo has put this on the features that they put on all trucks because it's, I mean, it's common sense, but they say aerodynamic hood and bumper new led lights uh, we have high and low beam leds we have the hood mirrors we have the side mirrors as well uh, and their aerodynamic uh, design as volvo say hey real quick 99 percent of you are not subscribed so i'll just ask you to hit that like and subscribe button below if you like these types of videos and enjoy our content now back to the video we have the chassis fairings down there below. And we have the cab side fairings on all the optional features. And there is a bunch of them on the inside as well, which we'll take a look in a little bit. Regarding the engine types, Volvo offers uh, three types of engines. Uh, this particular model has the D13, uh, 405 to 455 horsepower, which gives it about 1750 to 1850 pounds feet of torque. But Volvo also offer a D13 with 500 horsepower, which provides 1850 to 1900 pound feet of torque, as well as a Cummins X15 engine, which gives about 400 uh, to 565 horsepower and provides 1450 to 1850 pound feet of torque. For Volvo's official website, they're constantly trying to improve on their fuel efficiency for their trucks. And uh, they state that the starting fuel economy for these trucks is about 7.1, 7.2 miles per gallon. Now, I don't know where Volvo gets their uh, data and, and how they compile it. Based on their website, they have compiled some data that says that the average uh, uh, fuel mileage that these trucks get is 7.18 to 7.2 miles per gallon and they uh, calculate that uh, at an average fuel rate of $3 per gallon, which this was ages ago, I guess we all know that, at an average run of 120,000 miles per year per truck. They estimate it costs about $50,000 and some change uh, of fuel costs per unit, which they claim is a 1% improvement over previous models at about 500 bucks annually, which in my opinion, I don't think that's a lot, but that is per unit. So I guess if you do have 500 units, then these little numbers add up. 500, uh, saving 500 bucks annually in fuel is practically nothing for a regular company like ours or the regular owner operator. Volvo offers their trucks in three different uh, transmission styles. So we have the regular uh, Volvo 12 speed I shift. We also have the I shift for severe duty, uh, 12 speed. And we have the I shift with uh, crawlers gears, 13 and 14 speed. Looking at the front of the truck, we can see the regular design that we're all familiar with uh, for pretty much all Volvos. Nothing has changed much except the technology nowadays. On the newer models, like we said, on this particular model, we don't have the, the fog lights, but it is an optional package on uh, if you want to add it, as well as the chromed out bumpers and the chromed out uh, hood mirrors. The newer models, they all come with uh, high beam and low beam LED lights, as well as LED uh, turn signals. On the upgraded package, you also have an upgraded uh, daylight LED running lights, which is this right here. Honestly, there's not much else to be said for the outside of this, uh, of this particular truck, except it's beautiful color. But how about we take it for a test run and see how it drives. And then we can also talk about some of the interior features that a lot of you may be interested in. 
the shifting of the gears is uh, smooth you can actually barely feel it with the with the eye shift one thing I really like also is the dashboard the layout of the dashboard and uh, the fact that you have a lot of features uh, at the touch of a button which you know the steering wheel by itself is is a masterpiece it's it's pretty much like a steering wheel of a car uh, you know we have all the control buttons on the steering wheel you can control the radio you know volume higher lower you can access you know important features of the truck on screen one of our drivers all right so now here we are in the interior of the truck let's talk a little bit about that the sleeper size of the VNL 760 is 96 inches wide and 70 inches long, which is 7 inches shorter than the VNL 860, which is 77 inches long. The interior height between the seats from the top to the bottom is 81.5 inches and we have 100.2 100, uh, inches in the rear of the sleeper. The interior width from door to door is 83.5 inches the width between the seats is 30 in 30.6 inches and you have a mattress depth of 39 with a mattress width of 81 here you have the steering wheel and uh, we have the dashboard here it's a pretty intuitive dashboard as you can see uh, we'll turn it on in a little bit but the steering wheel adjustment is also very intuitive and very easy to adjust for pretty much any height, any size of driver. You can go all the way up, you can go, it can tilt towards you. It's actually available on all Volvos, but you know, uh, in this newer model, I must say, the adjustment is fairly easy. The center portion of the dashboard uh, is a monitor and you can access all the menus uh, through the uh, steering wheel controls uh, there is a lot of options that you know if uh, if you go through the menu that you can see speaking of the steering wheel the steering wheel by itself is something amazing it's pretty much like a steering wheel on a car uh, you got all your controls here on the right hand side for the radio the home button and honestly i don't even know what all of these mean but if you drive a 2022 or 2023 model, I'm assuming you already do. So uh, here we have the cruise controls, the, the lights, the cancel. You can answer your phone, uh, hang up and all these good things. The regular buttons for raising uh, the airbags, your fifth wheel, uh, hill start assist, mud, snow, traction control system. We also have two plugs here on the front of the dashboard two usb plugs and one regular uh, plug we have the lights on this side now if you had fog lights i believe you would have to pull on this knob uh, adjusting the this adjusts the light the brightness of your dashboard we've got the uh, window control module here with the side mirror control module. Another interesting thing that Volvo have uh, put in their, in their new lights uh, above the driver and also above the passenger is you have a blue and a red light in addition to the white light, which I think is pretty cool. Uh, the blue, you have two settings, high and low, and red you have high and low. And then you have one bright setting, which is also awesome. This big light here also works, which is a regular LED light, which comes in handy uh, at night. It's a spacious dashboard. Uh, the layout of the dashboard hasn't changed much from the other models. Uh, you have your uh, drive modes here, drive, uh, reverse, neutral and everything, manual. you got the radio. On some of the other models, instead of having placeholder like this, you can have a screen, a GPS a built in or something like that, which is, you know, part of the build out that you can make 
for your own Volvo uh, if you want to uh, order one uh, through their website. Let's take a look down here. Down here, you have yet another plug. This is an optional plug, I'm assuming. The cup holders are adjustable. You can adjust them like that any way you want. I guess you could buy another one and have uh, another set of cup. It's easy to adjust. You just, you just push this down. It releases the latch and then you just push it in because you see it won't come out, but then you have to push it from the bottom and then it'll come out. Okay. Passenger side, nothing new, nothing. Everything is the same. Everything is regular. Right on top, you have some storage. You have another plug here if you have a CB or something. This is your CB antenna input. This could be used as a storage area for a CB radio. Storage, storage, storage up top all the way around. Moving to the back, we have a storage area which can be populated with a microwave. Uh, or a TV, whatever is, you know, whatever the driver wants. This, this belt will actually uh, keep holding the item here. Additional storage here. You got your working table with two cup holders, more plugs. This could be a plug, I'm assuming. You got your pullout table, which is a little small, but it has a nice uh, hidden compartment in here. You know, I must say the size of the fridge is actually decent. You can fit uh, plenty of food in here for uh, drivers that stay on the road for uh, a lot longer. The back, you got, this is a brand new mattress. So let's, let's just go on here. You got a window that you obviously, you pop out like that. This is the holder for the second bed. And the same goes for the top window. You can pop it out like that, close it. The second bunk folds down. Uh, down. This model does not have the ladder so that you can climb up into the bed. You got your speakers, your temperature control unit with more plugs. This is where you control the ambient light. This is where you control your uh, temperature control unit, speakers. You have lights here for in the back window. You have a big storage area for, for clothes. I guess you can build it out with shelves or you could Hang them, uh, hang your clothes here. We've got some more storage at in the bottom. And we've got some storage in the top. You see Volvo prides themselves with providing a lot of storage for their drivers. We've got those vents at the top. Let's open them so that we can get the air circulating. And the good thing is for the top, you also got some additional storage on this side and a little bit of storage on this side because you have uh, the vents coming through here. You only have blue light high and low in the sleeper and the regular white light. You don't have the red light in here in the back. You got a handles, handlebars on both sides of uh, the sleeper for when you're climbing up or climbing down the sleeper bed from upstairs. You got your blackout curtains. This one does not have a moon window, whatever, but I'm assuming on, on the newer models, I mean, on the optional features, you may select to have a uh, moon window. Like I mentioned before, this is a basic model. It's not the fully loaded model because uh, prices, they can, you know, they can get pretty high, uh, especially when you start adding on all these extra features. And for having, you know, uh, drivers on the road with new trucks, it's sufficient to satisfy the basic needs for each driver.
And that would actually conclude our uh, today's video of the 2024 Volvo VNL uh, 760. If I missed something below, let me know down in the comments. But from what you can see, this model, we haven't even put the, uh, the deer bumper yet and there's no stickers on it yet. So all this is still to come. Uh, make sure you subscribe to our channel if you don't want to miss any future videos uh, and follow us on Facebook. I will see you in the next one. Uh.